other than just do a boring old unboxing, I'm gonna show you what I did to keep track of my latest picks from the most recent catalogs and show you what my plans are for staying organized and inspired with my creative projects and videos. So come along and let me show you about my technique for making a swatch lookbook. Happy New Year, everybody. I wanna take a second to welcome all of my new subscribers. Welcome. Recently, I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and needless to say, my first unboxing was a little chaotic. I didn't really know what I had on hand. I had a hard time mixing looks because I didn't have a clear understanding of the color collections and suites. So this year, I'm turning over a new leaf and I'm starting a new swatch book look book system. Every time I get a new collection, I'm going to add the components to my swatch book. It will show the designer series paper front and back and corresponding colors in inks, Stampin' Blends pens, and embellishments, as well as cross-referencing my older sets from previous catalogs that I think would complement it to leave myself a little breadcrumb trail. It also helps keep me from getting lost in the wide array of products available and helps me identify my preferences too, so I can pick things out that complement what I already have in the future and not buy duplicate products. Welcome to my test kitchen. Sometimes the catalogs show cute designs, but there's no recipes or color profiles for them, so I case the look by sampling my stash. I pull the colors and papers I think get closest to the design and recreate the styles that I think were used. This allows me to feel the collections out for myself, and I even include accessory elements to test them too. I write down all the details about the look the name, the SKU, the catalog it came from, and even down to the page number. Also, if it's a celebration item that may only have limited availability. Now that I'm getting more comfortable with my stash, I'm starting to increase my awareness of the specialty supply products for demonstrators like cardstock swatches, as well as the retail products. Like the Take Your Pick tool. It's a multi-purpose pickup and precision tool that simplifies meticulous tasks. Here I'm using the brush that helps knock out the little pieces from intricate dyes. And the stays on ink. It's waterproof, so I can use my watercolor brush or Stampin' Blends markers on it, and the design won't move. So as you can see, my book is part scrapbook, bullet journal, and planner. And when I want to capture my inspirations, I can run over to my lookbook, jot my ideas down, add a swatch, and make my research and homework fun and save my thoughts in a clean and concise way that keeps me inspired and motivated. I think you can see the possibilities as a sales tool or party activity are endless and I hope I have inspired you to start your own fun lookbook. Was that you say you didn't get a catalog? No problem. Just visit the description in the link below to order a catalog free of charge and start shopping with me today on my Stampin' Up! portal.